Hey Ian, Connor with Wilson Motor again here. Just wanted to start off with the actual name instead of the other name I gave you the other day. Here are a rundown of the two F350s I was telling you about. So we got the uh, black 2020 and the white 2020 here, both 10 speeds, both platinums. You kind of see a little bit of difference here in the grills. The black's got a little more space here, the white one's got a little more less space. So it kind of really depends on what grill's your favorite. Um, we'll do a little walk around here on both of them. And the white one, I, I just kind of walked around it here and I didn't see a whole lot of dings or dents. Um, there was one back here on the back. One little ding right here. Um, but one thing that the white one does come with is it does come with a trifold cover here on the bed. Um, it also has the fifth wheel. It's ready for towing fifth wheel there. You have power options here on the sides for towing. Uh, also, you have your sensors on the back here, and you got your backup camera, and there's a, the light there on the side. Let me start here in the back seat, opening up there, and I can walk through that there for you. So, the back seat obviously lifts up, and you can hook this guy up. If you pull both seats there, you can hook it up to have the little extra storage in there. Um, you do have heated seats. These are all gonna be heated seats back here. You have little extra uh, charging options there. So you have the 110, your USB-C, USB, and then a the little smoking uh, for option char charger there. Obviously the drink holders on top. Up here in the front, there's a lot of options. So, this one, this white one has 35,393 miles on it. Um, a lot of different options up here. You're gonna have your rear differential options uh, with pulling there for your four wheel drive. Obviously your trailer brakes. You have the pro trailer backup assist. Um, you got your heated and cooling seats here. Um, I'm sure you've seen this with other Platinums we've driven in the past, but obviously one of the coolest features is the fact that you can turn on the massage seats. I'm a big fan of it up beyond high. <laughs> so you can see there you got massage seats going on there for both the driver and passenger seat up here. Um, being down in here, another cool option is you also have the the charging station here. It'll charge your phone. If you put your phone there for wireless charging. You also have a USB-C and a USB to connect your phone there too. Um, I believe if I remember right here, you're also going to have the adaptive cruise control, which is on there as well. Looks like, yep, you can change your speeds there. Um, you do have lane keeping assist. You do have the 360 camera on here, so it'll show you all around the vehicle as you're reversing or parking, so you're not hitting things. Uh, your backup camera, you can change it to show you that, obviously this is the front camera, but you can, when you're backing up, it changes into reverse there for you. And has the lines. And they're the predictive lines too, so as you turn, it will move for you. Are you aware of that? Um, obviously, you can turn your off-road traction, turning off that, and if you don't want to deal with the sliding, or if you want to be more control. Um, a lot of different options here. This center console is really huge. There's another uh, smoking outlet charging option there as well. Um, and then obviously you have the panoramic and sunroof there and then you have the power back window too that you can open and close there just with this option right here so a couple different options on this one let me flip over here to the the black one now on our left we'll start with walking around this one here so we'll start here from the front kind of just go around it Uh, walking around this one, I also didn't really see very many dings or dents. There are some marks from it that we didn't do very well of washing, obviously. <laughs> we can get this washed off and removed for you. So this one here uh, also has a fifth wheel option that you can use. Same thing, you're going to have your little charging, uh, not charging, but your hookups there for your trailers and stuff like that. It is a Ford 
Um, I keep forgetting what this thing's called. I need to just remind myself. The black thing, bed, cover, stuff. <laughs> um, once again, you have your parking sensors back here in the back. Trailer hookups there. Your blind spot radars are in the, the lights there. So starting here in the back seat again. Um, once again, you obviously you have your, your heated USB-C and USBs. Other charging options there too. Um, this is, is kind of what I was telling you about on that other one. Is you have that option, you can you can put this down or you can have it up and create like a little place to lock something up. So if you have guns or something you want to put in there to hide, kind of a cool option. But yet it's still flat, unlike other makes where back here, it's usually you have the little bump here in the middle. I like how Ford doesn't have that bump. It's kind of just flat. So it's easy to store other stuff back here without having it rolling all over the place. All right, turning this guy on here. So we have less miles on the black one. It's 32,909. So you're just a little over 2,000 miles less. Um, same thing, you got your different options here. The cool thing Ford, with Ford is obviously you can move your pedals forward and backward to this button. I don't think any other makes do that. This will drop your, your uh, tailgate there. Obviously your heated lights there, or your, your uh, heated mirrors. Turn those on and off. Um, once again up here you have your lane keeping assist, your downhill assist, uh, turning your traction off there. Um, but you do have the adaptive cruise control as well, coolant, heated seats, you still have your charging pad in this one as well, and then the USB-C and USB up here. You still got all your options with auxiliaries and whatnot, and your, uh, your wind, um, sunroof. And then also the back window there, which opens. So... Anyways, that's a rundown of both the vehicles for you. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you out if it's something that you'd like to look into. Thanks, Ian.